Translation is the process in which a strand of mRNA is used to create a polypeptide chain. This polypeptide chain can then be edited and folded into a protein. This 3D animation will show translation occurring in a eukaryotic cell. There are several components of translation. We will show you both the stylized and molecular view of these components. The ribosome facilitates translation. It is composed of both a small subunit and a large subunit. These subunits are composed of strands of ribosomal RNA and proteins. A strand of RNA, called messenger RNA, or mRNA for short, carries information for a protein from the nucleus where it was created and edited in a process called transcription. There are four different bases in mRNA, adenine, uracil, cytosine, and guanine. Transfer RNA, or tRNA for short, contains an anticodon and is bonded to an amino acid. The amino acid carried depends on the tRNA's anticodon. The amino acids carried by the tRNA are bonded together in the ribosome to create a polypeptide chain. The release factors recognize stop codons on mRNA and begin the termination process of translation with the release of the polypeptide chain. A strand of mRNA travels from the nucleus to the cytoplasm. Some ribosomal subunits exist freely in the cytoplasm. The small ribosomal subunit binds to mRNA's start codon, AUG, triggering the start of translation. A tRNA with the anticodon for AUG bonds to the AUG codon on the mRNA strand. This tRNA carries methionine, or MET for short. Once this tRNA has bonded to the mRNA, the large ribosomal subunit bonds. A tRNA with the correct anticodon bonds to the second mRNA codon. The process continues. Each tRNA's anticodon bonds to a codon on the mRNA strand. The ribosome moves down the mRNA and the tRNA are released. Here is the view inside the ribosome complex. The polypeptide chain is lengthened as each incoming codon carries its accompanying tRNA into the center of the ribosome complex. It is here, as the tRNA are pushed together, that the polypeptide chain bonds with each presented amino acid and extends up further through the ribosome. Notice that the polypeptide chain is always transferred to the tRNA moving into the central position. Here is a 2D overlay. Remember that the tRNA's anticodons bond to the mRNA's codons. If a tRNA does not have the correct anticodon, it cannot bond to the mRNA strand. This specific bonding requirement allows the correct amino acid to bond and helps ensure that the right polypeptide chain is made. This process continues until a stop codon is reached. A release factor recognizes the stop codon. Once inside the ribosome, the release factor disconnects the polypeptide chain from the last tRNA and begins the termination process. The ribosome complex disassembles and the polypeptide chain is released. This polypeptide chain can now be edited and folded into a protein.